Hey everyone, I am so excited. I totally created a hack that is like, now it's kind of like, duh. But I was in the shower the other day. I don't know why I'm telling you that. But I was in the shower and this hit me. So you know how we use these bad boys for beauty blending? The minis are unreal and I strongly believe now they were made for nails. So I'm going to show you now my first run of playing with my vision for these things and they're going to make your ombres better. They're going to make you be able to create like airbrush looks without having to have an airbrush machine and the mess and all of that. So this will work with, I use the gel play like art gel, different like brands and you can also do it with acrylic paint. Isn't that awesome? You're gonna thank me later. I did a little ditty with it, also with Chrome on my Instagram page, if you wanna visit me there as well. And it's a dream. It's like the perfect shape for nails. Look at that. I'm so excited. Look, they're so perfect. Squishy little perfect nail size. And then I got these little vinyls on Amazon. And I have found there's a trick. You've gotta wipe off that sticky layer and then it goes on a little better. I'm just gonna dip this in our gel and I feel like sponging it on the table. Oh, look at that. Kind of helps disperse it so you can kind of get that airbrush look a little better. So I'm gonna switch colors, but I see how I dabbed it on the table because it kind of helps get it off so you can just switch colors right away. Top corner, dab off. I feel like we need a little pink, we need a little pink. So guys, this is totally unreal because I'm creating a mermaid tail with multiple colors and it looks airbrushed and I'm freaking using gel, which is almost unheard of. You could totally do this with acrylic paint or something, a little metallic, add a little metallic. But the beauty here is you can use your gel. You can even use normal gel. You might even be able to do this great with polish. I bet you totally could. And it looks airbrushed without the mess. Let me just peel this off. Stop it. I freaking love that. Okay, you gotta cure it though. So get it in there to cure. And clean this up with alcohol. By the way guys, alcohol to clean your, like as long as it's not cured, cleans it right up, no sticky. Which we love. Look at that. And you could just top coat and it's amazing. I love it. Okay. These are the sheets of vinyl. I'm just going to peel off. There's so many of these like all over. I'm sure there's, this is my first go of actually using like a stencil, but I feel like we could create a really cool kind of Moroccan look. So I'm just gonna set it. Sorry. I do kind of want to squish it down. I'm going to use red. God, you only need a tiny bit with a beauty blender. So, little baby dab. Wipe most of it off and I'm gonna dab it to disperse it so it sponges even on the table. Look how much color I still have. I'm gonna go all over with this. And I'm gonna try picking it up and placing it different to get like multiple patterns, kind of. See if it peels off well. I mean, that looks cool, right? We gotta cure that for a little bit though, cause I'm gonna put the stencil back down over it and I don't wanna ruin it. So cure, cure, cure. This is kind of the boring part, sorry guys. I need to cut this out. Okay, I'm gonna place it like kind of at an angle to it. Oh, it's a little tricky because I have gel on the top. I should have wiped it off. Oh, there we go. If you wipe off that sticky layer, then the vinyl sticks better. Note to self. Right. Ish. I feel as I feel as though <laughs> this looks different than stamping. I feel like it gives it an airbrush look. So. I'm going to use like a pink and kind of stamp it out so we get two different effects and see what this turns out looking like. But yeah, stamping's cool, but this is kind of the opposite. Like it fills the space. It looks airbrushed. That looks cool. Cure that. Okay. So I like that. You can alternate different patterns, kind of Moroccan looking. 
beautiful. All right. Okay, I'm straight up just gonna try to ombre. We've all done this with sponges, but I'm telling you right now, this is way smoother than any makeup brush. Brush, sponge, sorry, I know, wrong word. Way smoother. So, okay, what if I take then the darker red, like, and try to actually use like two or three colors here to ombre and put it to the test. So, lighter pinks on there. Throw a little deeper. This red's kind of pinky red. Oh yeah, so we can make like a gradient. Oh, I love it. Cure that. And I, I'm gonna use a deeper red so this one is even darker, like true red. Not so pinky. I only need a tiny dab of this. Oh, that's my protein bond that was turning, holding my sensor on. Tiny, tiny, tiny dab, dab it off. Yes, a little bit of deeper red on the bottom. Okay, I think from here on out, I will always use this little baby for ombres. And it is almost better to just dab it off. You could use a little alcohol, but it's gonna expand and it would probably shrink back, but look how cool that looks. Okay, so yes, check for ombres. Oops, <laughs> struggling, you guys, I'm struggling. Um, yes, for shifting the stencil around. Love that, to get different effects. And freaking hell yes for Mermaid. That was unreal. Let's see what else we can do. It's gorgeous, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can do so many fun things with that. And that's just a sponge, no stencil. I'm gonna wipe off the sticky layer. If this thing flips in my face, it's cause I'm doing this a little weird. I, you could do this with tape, tape would be better. But I don't have tape here, so I'm just gonna lay the corner over this. See if I can hold it. I'll just hold it and try. And I'm gonna dab around. I wanna make a gradient. I wanna see if it works. So dabbing, dabbing, dabbing. That worked, cool. Let's at least flash cure that or something so that it doesn't move. So I think tape would be better or a sharp vinyl corner would be ideal. I just didn't have that in what I had ordered. So I will get that. So you're gonna see what I wanted to do here in one second. I just need that to be cured. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna try to place this a little lower and see it doesn't matter if the color gets up on top because it will, um, oh, seriously, it just shot. <laughs> Thanks, thanks for having that back. Oh, but it worked, that's okay. Okay, that's why you want to use a sticky corner so that it doesn't shoot away, even though your client's finger wouldn't shoot away, but then it wouldn't, like I got lucky, the line stayed crisp, but that's okay. I might even try again. I don't know, let me dab some out in this. <laughs> See if we can do another level. I'm getting lucky here because that was funny. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try a little bit again. I don't know, hold that, yeah, thanks. I have an assistant here, my friend is helping. Okay, let's see. If I just can get one more layer, it'll probably move. Uh, 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 let's just take it away. I'll just fill in the bottom because even the rest I could cover and it's still gradient because it's layering the top ones darker. See? Oh, art can still happen when crap happens. <laughs> Okay, so I'm curing that. That's a favorite of mine. I will just get a vinyl corner or even tape to do it better next time so that on a person, it, they could move and I wouldn't want that. So, now we know. So pretty, turned out so awesome. I want to do one more. I think we've got the gradient. With a V, we've got the gradient, just like freehand, we've got our mermaid. One more like with the stencil. 
Isn't that cool looking? They look like they have airbrush going on, but they totally don't. It's just, okay, I'm going to lay this stencil down and it's just easier to press it down. My fingers, oh, I want it flat. I kind of wrinkled it. There we go. And you can press in the edges of a client. Dab, dab, dab. I'm gonna do all over. You could totally pull a different color partway through. That would work. And I'm going to take this off because if you cure it with it on, I bet it's really hard. Oh, that looks so perfect. I bet it's really hard if you cure it with the stencil on to remove the stencil. Oh, I won't stay. My sensor's at the front of that light, so. And I'm gonna pull out some different colors. Dabbing off so I can get into the new colors. Sorry guys, I just like choked on that thing. Okay, wiping that off so it's not sticky. Helps us stay better. And then I'm gonna place this off kilter of where it was. And then let's pull a different color. So dab that. Actually, I'm gonna mix it a little bit with the color was on there because all it will do is intensify the other ones because they'll have a second layer, like airbrushing does. All right, let's see. I'll heal this off careful so you don't tear it. Oh, that looks awesome! Let's cure that. I've got an idea. I'm gonna take blue, tiny, tiny bit of it because I've got pink on my blue, blue, my blue blender. God, I'm gonna run it. See, it's kind of purpley. This is gonna look awesome. So you can kind of blend it right there on your palette. I just use a tile, guys. This is a tile under me um, because it cleans up really well. It's acetone resistant, pretty much. I hope it has been. So, so I'm gonna place this and put this purple over. And as I do, I'm gonna recap. You guys, I love using using this beauty blender. Give the airbrush looks. It's amazing try it so many things let me know how it goes i'm gonna cure it ta-da beauty blender get it let's do this thanks guys for watching i love having you here you guys have a fan freaking tastic day and subscribe please subscribe i would love to have you i'm gonna come up with more and more fun things for all of you whether you're a professional or you do it on yourself at home i am on your team with all of that